Hello everyone, I'm Rachel and I welcome you all to Executive Corner Expert Talks. Today I'm speaking with Jeffrey Gray. Jeffrey's the founder and CEO of Propic, a people-first intelligence AI company for real estate. Here at Kalkheim, we bring you industry leaders, successful business owners, market and equity advocates, all under one roof to help you discover the insights of the stock market and help you understand how you can create multiple passive income streams. A very warm welcome to you, Jeffrey. Good to chat to you today. Yes, uh, thank you for having me on the show today. Great to speak with you. So first off, Propic sounds like an extremely interesting company. Can you tell me more about it and where the idea came from to set it up? Yes, we've built artificial intelligence for real estate agents to try and improve the process of buying, selling and leasing property uh, here in Australia, but also around the world. And really what the idea come from was, you know, we're living in this 24 seven world where for, from a consumer's perspective, it's a world of immediacy, <laughs> sorry. And, and I'm working from home uh, like all of us with the dogs. Um, so we, um, we decided to, to really solve the problem where we wanted to serve consumers in real time. We wanted incumbent businesses that are, you know, using people to do that. And we build artificial intelligence to automate, you know, quite substantial parts of real estate transactions. Excellent. Good to hear your dogs wanting some attention. <laughs> Now, the real estate industry is significant for the growth and development of any nation. And you're innovating the industry with the use of your breakthrough technology in the form of AI. How do you feel this is pushing the industry forward here in Australia? Look, I think COVID has certainly um, accelerated the industry's thinking around technology. Um, you know, the, the, the industry leaders here are really focused on the consumer experience. How do they improve that? Uh, so certainly over the last sort of 18 months, increasingly the, the, the industry is saying, look, we, we can't keep on progressing the way we currently do and have done in the past. Um, our customers are expecting more of us. And we, we know, know that we need to start looking at technology to augment the customer experience. It's still a massive transaction, you know, buying and selling property. So there will always be people involved, but there are definitely ways in which artificial intelligence in particular can really improve the customer experience and that's what the industry leaders are, are focused on. Now obviously when people are interested in buying into property or leasing, a lot of data is given over such as the salary, previous addresses they've lived at. Lived at. What are the advantages of AI when it comes to cyber security and people's data, personal data? How does Propic combat the drawbacks of this high tech? <laughs> Yes, look, it's it's certainly front and centre of our mind. Um, look, we've taken technology that's been used by government, by banking and finance, and then applying it into real estate. So everything from encryption through to you know independent penetration testing every year. Uh, the industry is certainly sitting on really valuable personal identifiable information. I, I think um, it probably hasn't been as big a focus for for this industry as what it has in other verticals. But it's certainly given what we're doing with data and, and the scale that we're, we're you know, helping our customers uh, use that data to provide services. It's, it's absolutely front and centre of our mind in terms of what we build and the technology we use. And Jeffrey, could you talk to me in more detail about the platforms that you use and what they do and the purposes that they both cater to? Yes, yeah, so we've got two platforms. Uh, one is Enliven, which is a conversational AI platform. So think about when you are uh, potentially looking to inquire on a property to buy. Um, the peak time when people are talking to our conversational AI is 10 o'clock at night. Uh, traditionally, you know, you would inquire off a portal and you'd wait a day or two to get a response. So what uh, our Enliven platform does is intercepts all those email inquiries going to agents uh, on their website, social, uh, reads all of the, the utterances of consumers, the questions, and is able to respond and answer every question about each individual property on scale. So across uh, whether you're potentially looking to buy, sell or lease, we're now able to serve customers on a national scale uh, using artificial intelligence 24 seven. On the flip side of that is that's, that's consumers coming to a real estate brand. How do we start to anticipate what a consumer is going to want to need and get the right services to them at the right time? So we've built a, a data platform which tracks every single property in Australia. 
and then we ingest customer data and from there we work out which consumers are more likely to transact in the future so they can get in the in front of that consumer before the consumer has even decided to sell. Excellent. And just a more general question now, what is your take on property investment within Australia? Are the young priced out of the market or is real estate still the best investment option as opposed to something like stocks or crypto? Look, it's been a consistent performer over the years, but I think there is some generational change coming. So, uh, you know, if you don't have the bank of mum and dad, it's increasingly difficult to get into the to the property market. And I think that that's good for, for investors because we're getting a generation of, of, of tenants and renters. Um, but I think from a societal perspective, uh, it's going to create some challenges. I, I do think we're at a price point now, particularly in Sydney, where a lot of people are being priced out of the market. Um, historically, the drivers for property growth have really been the, the culture of property ownership here in Australia, um, growth in, in, in terms of population and also a uh, sort of shortage of supply. So whilst the, <laughs> due to COVID, obviously, we're not getting the, the growth in population, uh, there's still obviously a lot of uh, demand in the market, which is why our customers are uh, recording uh, record sales uh, throughout July and August. Excellent. And with you being at the forefront of innovation within the property industry, what do you believe is next in real estate advancement? Definitely automation. So we're seeing that across how properties are managed, how assets are managed, how customers are served. Um, so the, you, this is an industry that is going to follow in the footsteps of banking, finance and telecommunications. So we'll see this augmented experience of technology and people working hand in hand, but incumbent businesses will move into a into a state in uh, it's already happening where they're able to operate and serve customers twenty four seven in real time. And that's a massive change for the real estate industry. Excellent. Well, Jeffrey, it's been fabulous to chat to you today. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it, and uh, I'll go and see what the dogs are up to. <laughs> yes, maybe they want to go for a walk. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. With that, I will sign off for today, but you can catch this video on our websites or YouTube. Till then, stay apprised and invest wise with Galkine.